to get you a tiara. Oh. <laughs> a poor rabbit. Oh my God! Say that again. She loves playing chess. <laughs> I just want it known that in this day and age, 20 years ago, cell phones were a box, okay? They were something you carried like a big purse that you could kill people with. These days, I can actually see a client working at a separate business, okay, along with the uh, the accompanying humans here and uh, <laughs> our patient here. So this is kind of cool. I even got to show you the video of the mites through your phone. So this is just oh, awesomeness. Really cool. It really was. Modern, med modern medicine and technology thought. is just the coolest thing ever. Anyway, now let's get serious here for a second. <laughs> it is Saturday morning, and we were at Bayview, and this rabbit came in for some ear issues, and according to our uh, little parasite cam, if you want to call it that, we do have ear mites. So we're going to start this guy on his treatment. He's getting back next, once a week for the next uh, two to three weeks. All right, in the next room behind me, and oh, by the way, we're uh, it's Saturday morning, we're at Bayview. And in the room behind me is a rabbit with an ear infection. And I just thought I would concentrate on this little spot right here for you because this is an ear mite egg. So that is just kind of cool. Of course, it's not going to move, but you get a video anyway. Move, little egg. Hatch right before our eyes. Hatch, 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 hatch. <clears throat> well, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Untimely. Got to come back when he's more ripe. <laughs> We'll come back to you, little egg. See you later. I'm lying. If you are a mite fan, and I must say, mites' lives do matter. But unfortunately, the rabbit has a bigger pocketbook. So, in my slide prep, we killed this one by accident. Rest in peace, little bug. Later. I'm so sorry, I killed you. He's awesome. <laughs> also in the room behind me. Oh, I'm sorry, not also. Also, for the room behind me, <laughs> here is a one of those ear mites in total, moving around and dancing for your viewing pleasure. We'll uh, see if we can get focus in and out here a little bit so you can see more. This is most likely a male. Remember the fact that it is an adult and its size is kind of small. And in a second, I will actually put the female on the screen. But I can't focus this and do that at the same time. It's just not that good. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. It's a party. <laughs> it's a party in those ears. Mm -hmm. They're saying, listen to me. The voices in your head are saying, scratch. Scratch. <laughs> so go ahead, show us again. Something about the way she moves her phone. Yes. It just... Maybe it's the baby. It's there radioactive it and it's blocking the phone signal. Yeah, it's a mutant baby. I love those. <laughs> 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 Thank you. December's around the corner. <laughs> it's a baby primate in the oven. I just love those things. It's her sister. <laughs> her yeah. sister. That baby comes We're not long speciesist ears, or saying. sexist. That's like your. Yep. That's a baby sister. Hmm. <laughs> Did you say butt crack? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to see your butt. Thought I was here instead. <laughs> this is awesome. And there is well, a tiny monkey. <laughs> Um, and at that point in time, we'll actually give him a shot of his parasite and uh, stuff, the antiparasitic medication. And then we'll also go ahead and uh, start cleaning his ears. But as these guys' ears are so painful in the beginning, I have found probably the easiest and the best way to do these cases is to actually put the ear mite medication after you give the shot that kills the parasites, put a medication in there that is both antibacterial, antifungal, and an anti-inflammatory. And over the next week, it'll give the skin and the inflammation in there a chance to heal. Um, and then come next week, we'll actually do our best to clean those ears out. Sometimes I get so lucky that the rabbit has shook his head between now and next week, and those plugs have come out. But if not, we still have to clean them, and he's still going to need that next shot. Yeah. Okay? So, that's what it looks like. Does mom have any questions? Um, so, everyone, that's everybody. Yeah. So, that one more time. No, 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 no. I just want you to basically go in and start cleaning her bedding a little bit more frequently, okay? And if you can, use a bleach solution because it will kill the mites. 
and uh, hopefully after about a week and we got the mites actually dying in said rabbit, okay, then what will happen is, uh, <laughs> going over the minute mark, then what will happen is uh, <clears throat> you'll come in next week and we'll give another one of those shots. And in the, in the meantime, since you're cleaning the bedding more frequently, we'll actually get it out of the bedding and we'll be killing it on the rabbit at the same time. And then uh, we hopefully will never have to deal with this again. Okay, but we still may need a third shot. So usually I say two to three of these antiparasitic shots, and that usually takes care of the case. So, more questions. She's a sweet bunny. She is. I like that. She's doing awesome. Ordinarily, you know, doing this to one of these guys, they get completely violent, and because it pain, you know, you ever put a Q-tip in your ear yeah, incorrectly? I was thinking about that yeah. earlier. Yeah. She did awesome. She's so sweet. She does not bite. She does not scratch. She'll come to you. She's so sweet. Aww. Your this is so cool. All right, Mom. Yeah, she rescued so, you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm going to give the shot now once I get a weight on her. <laughs>